So despite the traffic, we managed to make it here in time to watch the British Speed Derby. We saw about the final 10 because we weren't here quite in time for the start. However, we managed to watch the winner, Matthew Sampson, who was the last rider to go, produce an epic round. It was so fast. We were stood just over there by the final fence and as he cleared that final fence, looked up at the scoreboard and saw that he won. The atmosphere was just electric. <laughs> We've had a look around the shops, done a little bit of shopping, might have bought myself a pair of winter breeches. And now we're just looking at the Devil's Dyke because I remember when I was speaking to Sammy a couple of weeks ago, she was saying how distracted Willem gets as he comes around that corner. She's taken the um, line alongside the fence rail for the last few years, but this year she's gonna come around the table and then come in from a left-hand turn to try and distract his view from everything that's going along down the edge of the arena here and obviously where I'm stood at the moment is going to be full of spectators. We have to jump the first part which is absolutely huge, downhill slightly, over the water and rail and then uphill, another stride over another huge fence. It's a gorgeous day, absolutely lovely weather. The riders have just gone in now to walk the course for this afternoon's Al Shira Derby. And as in about 10 minutes time, the public will be able to go and walk it too. So obviously we'll take you along with us. the Devil's Dyke whilst walking the course and I can completely see what Sammy meant now about the crowds if she came to the right hand side of the table how all the way along here the crowds are going to be distracting the horses whereas if she came to the left hand side of the table she can then make a turn into the Devil's Dyke so fingers crossed that works for her today sat in the grandstand waiting for the derby to start they're going to do the parade of the riders any minute and then it will start and first rider is local Cornish girl Sammy J Gothic right by fence three fence 14 and then the bank itself 
As you can see, we've got an absolutely fab view. Try not to be too loud because a presentation ceremony is going on over there for scurry driving. And we're going to stay here for the first few riders. So we're close to the action. Then we're going to head round by Devil's Dyke and then the last few riders will go back over to the press side so that we can be in on the excitement and. Um, Well said to start, and we wish them all the best for the 2018 Ashira uh, Hipster W. Huge thanks to Ashira for their support again. Their love of horses running through their blood, the great heritage of the Ashira stables, following through with their sponsorship here at the Hipster W. Wonderful to have them on board once the very first to go in the 2018 Ashira Hipster Derby, Great Britain, Sammy J. Coffin, Willem Deluxe. Who's next to go? The next go? pairing we know so well. Second, Iron up the Devil's Dyke. Third, they were the jump off last Nussle. year. Top three in the Derby. <laughs>
situations that often, you know, so, and as you get older, they become less, so you appreciate <laughs> taking them <laughs> when they occur. So, it was nice to uh, take them, yeah. Schooling, don't you? How important is that kind of preparation for an event like this? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we phrase the question? <laughs> it's really important, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you know, I, th I think what's really important is, as I said in an interview yesterday, what makes good dialogues. First, you get your approvals, and then you get it so it's happy jumping all these natural things, and then you've got good dialogues. And what's good is, is, as I said, it comes down to the whole team. We take 15, four-year-olds to always go up, we go over all the cross-country fences. At a young age, they're very happy popping over those things, which isn't because they might event, it's basically because it's good to broaden their horizons early on, and that you don't get a horse to 150, and then introduce a big ditch underneath it. <laughs> then in front, so it crashes through the 150 fence, and then you've actually not, clearly not got derby horses, you've frightened the life out of it. So, I would say that all our horses are very broadly educated early on because of that. And I think that the footing is you know, the best, absolutely. I think that's why we're generally seeing, I uh, jumped off uh, twice with four faults. We haven't seen that for a few years. You know, we're seeing horses jumping clears. You know, I think that's a lot down to the, the, the footing. Yeah. Go and watch how they jumped in the 70s. <laughs> the rain. <laughs> very different. Fabulous, Kate. Any further questions? Just one for William. Uh, obviously, you decided not to do the jumping from the Derby trial. Were you particularly confident this year? I knew you'd have to jump twice today. <laughs> <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> Any further? Lizzie's got a question. Is there a lock in at the parrot tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yes, anybody's welcome. Parrot Forest Green. <laughs> There we go. That's just gone out on the live stream as well, so you might have a few more. <laughs> 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 First thing's <laughs> Any further questions? Good. Okay, well, it just remains to say congratulations, a huge thanks to all the team here, to our Shira, our sponsors, of course, of this fabulous cast. Once again, William Funnell, the Shira Higston Derby winner. What an absolutely epic day at Hickstead. It has been amazing. I seriously cannot wait to return again next year. It has been, well, this venue is just, it's, it's amazing. It's been an absolutely fab day and I can't thank Hickstead enough for inviting me. We have thoroughly enjoyed it. But as you can see just behind me now, the team are all packing away, but it'll all be out again in a month's time. From the 25th to the 29th of July is the Longines FEI Jumping Nations Cup. I do hope you've enjoyed the vlog guys, if you have please give it a thumbs up below, like, comment, subscribe and for now it's over and out from me, I have had a thoroughly enjoyable time at Hickstead and I'm off to Jamaica now so bye bye, enjoy, over and out.